Hello, wordsmiths. Please put on this protective suit as you enter Khan Academy Labs. Over here in V Branch, we're working on our vocabulary accelerator, smashing together word parts to make brand new words. Here comes one now. Megalithogram. It's a message written on a very big rock. Very big rock writing. Now today we're going to go with some older, more stable words. I'll define them, we'll look at some related words, and then we'll use each one in a sentence. So let's get to it. The words are hypothesis, demonstrate, and accurate. A hypothesis is a noun, and it's a theory or explanation that hasn't been proved yet. In science, you start out with a hypothesis, and then you set about trying to see if it's right or wrong. Demonstrate is a verb, and it means to show how something is done or used. Accurate is an adjective, and it means true, correct, or exact. The noun form, accuracy, is the state of being true, correct, or exact. Now, word origins. Hypothesis comes from the Greek hypo, meaning below, and thes, meaning to put or place. A hypothesis is placed beneath the argument you're trying to make. It's the basis or the foundation. In science, it's your premise. Without the hypothesis, the whole idea falls apart. Hypo is a prefix you'll find in all sorts of science terms, like hypothermia, which is the scientific term for being dangerously cold. Therm means heat, so very low heat. Or when you get a shot, the doctor uses a hypodermic needle. Derm means skin, so the needle goes under the skin. Or the geometry term hypotenuse, which comes from hypo and a root that means to stretch. If we put the right angle of this right triangle here up top, the hypotenuse stretches below it from one end to the other. A hypotenuse stretches below the right angle. Demonstrate. We've got D, which means down or completely, all the way, and monstra, which means to show or warn. To demonstrate something is to show it completely, to prove it. If you speak Spanish or French, you might recognize the verb to show, mostrar in Spanish or montrer in French. But you might also see the English word monster, which shares the same root. A monster is a thing you're meant to be afraid of, something to be warned away from. Garar. So scary. <laughs> and accurate is made of ad and cure. Ad meaning to and cure from curare meaning to take care of. So to be accurate comes from this basis of doing something carefully or exactly. Let's use these words in some sentences. We are testing the hypothesis that cookies made with moss are gross, said Benito, holding one out to me. Go on, try one. How do we test the hypothesis? By proving it right or wrong. If his theory is incorrect, then moss cookies will be delicious, or at least not gross. I took a tiny bite and immediately spat out the nasty cookie, demonstrating that he was right. Eating the cookie, you see, proves that the moss cookie is indeed inedibly gross or nasty. The experiment has demonstrated that the hypothesis has not yet been proven wrong. My new invention can tell you what kind of illness you have with 100% accuracy, said Lola. Last week, it correctly diagnosed a flu, two colds, and a broken nose. It's accurate or correct 100% of the time. Now that's what I call uh, a useful medical device. Okay, wordsmiths, I just got a message from a coworker over in S Branch, where they have apparently invented a new and very unstable kind of cheesy snack crisp. It only holds its shape for a quarter second, but it's supposed to be delicious. So, I will see you in the next one, alright? Until next time, you can learn anything. David out.